Hi guys, today in this video we are going to look at the Lewis rod structure for Na2O which is also known as sodium oxide. Now unlike other molecules or compounds, this one is an ionic compound because it has an ionic bond. Generally the molecules that are made up of one metal and like metals and non-metals are known as ionic compounds. Generally the compounds that are made with uh, metals and non-metals are called ionic compounds because the bond formed between metal and non-metal is an ionic bond. In ionic bond, metal donates its electrons and the non-metal accepts it and uh, hence the Lewis dot structure will be a dip bit different from the ones that you have previously seen. So here at first I am going to draw the Lewis structure for Na and O and then we will move forward uh, by drawing the Lewis structure for complete molecule. So oxygen has 6 valence electrons in its outer shell because it belongs to group 6A or 16. So I am going to place 6 valence electrons around it. Uh, each sodium atom has one valence electrons in its outer shell and as there are two uh, sodium atoms over here I am going to place both on the either sides of the oxygen atom and I am also going to place one electron around it. So as I mentioned generally metals donate their electron and gain a positive charge and non-metals accept those electrons and gain a negative charge. So here the electron will be shifted to the center because oxygen will take it to complete their octets. So both these electrons from a sodium atom will be shifted here and now oxygen has a complete octet and by donating electrons these sodium atoms have gained a positive charge. So we are going to mention its charge over here. Similarly oxygen atom is accepting two electrons and hence it has negative charges so it now has minus two charges over here so we are also going to mention that and as they have now gained charges or you know or they they have now gained charges we are going to put brackets around it so you are going to put brackets mention charge and this is the lewis dot structure for na2o uh, generally ionic compounds have this uh, motives in which they are arranged uh, in a pattern and they they are arranged in motives one after the other. So this is the chemical formula of how we represent sodium oxide. It is never made up of two or uh, two one molecule. It it has repetitive units. So ionic compounds have that structure, that lattice like structure. You can also read more about ionic compounds and there are some links given in the description box that could help you. For more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.